What is up guys, it's Scott and this is Topping the Server, the series where I review guns that I can use to top the leaderboard either on my team or the entire server. Today I'm going to be looking at the Barstorm, which is one of my favorite guns in the game and arguably one of the best guns in the game. I'm also starting to hop on Operations a lot more. I primarily stuck to Conquest really just to learn the game. I avoided Operations because it's a lot faster paced. Objectives are really tough to push and it prioritizes low time to kill guns. You'll notice in the gameplay I'm playing Operation on Amiens. It's one of my favorite maps in the entire game. It's tight and close quarters enough to keep the action hot and frantic but it never feels like a stalemate in the middle and there's plenty of flanking routes. You'll notice in the gameplay that I like to push the objective hard. I end up with most flags capped at the end of this round. My mindset as soon as we deploy is to push a lane as hard as I possibly can and establish a good position for my team. The Bar Storm is a gun that lets you do that. It features a 600 round per minute rate of fire which is the highest rate of fire for all the LMGs. In addition it has relatively manageable recoil especially compared to the SMGs. Basically it lets you stay competitive with assault players at close range while also offering their versatility to engage people at mid range. That's what I like most about the support class in the LMGs, the versatility it offers. You can run the HE mortars for vehicle maps like St. Quentin Scar and the HE mortar is really important because a lot of times the tanks are going to kind of camp a little bit back and you're not going to be able to get to them with AT grenades. Then for close quarters infantry focused maps like Argonne Forest and Fort DeVault, you can always run the crossbow launcher with the frag grenades. The ammo box is also vital, not only for you but for your team. Not really so much for resupplying ammo because, let's be frank, the lifespan of the typical battlefield player is not very long and they're not going to run out of bullets. But to resupply grenades for assault players and to resupply spot flares for scouts, that makes a huge difference in whether your team's going to be able to push a lane or be stopped short. Now the Barstorm is a gun that many of you have probably seen and heard of but never played. The support class is the least played class out of all the classes I'm pretty sure. I know at launch the LMGs were some of the least competitive guns in the entire game, but since then I think DICE has buffed the accuracy of the LMGs. I really have no basis for comparison because I didn't really start playing infantry until maybe a month ago. I only recently power leveled all my infantry classes to rank 10, maybe like 2 weeks ago. I've tried a lot of different guns from all the classes and from what I can tell so far the Barstorm is my favorite gun. Now the thing that turns most people off about this gun is the fact that it only has a 20 round magazine. Also while the recoil is a lot more manageable than any SMGs, it does have some degree of recoil and you need to be able to control it. Especially at mid range, you really have to counter the recoil and be accurate because with only 20 rounds in a magazine, you're probably going to have to mag dump and make all your shots count to get kills in mid range. You definitely should aim for center of mass, upper chest, don't try to go for headshots because the recoil is going to kick up and make you miss. You also have to be careful when support players go prone at mid-range, mid the recoil is going to make you miss a lot of shots and they're going to be more accurate and they might beat you. You see in the gameplay here how I'm pushing this lane so hard right off the jump. One of the reasons I like the bar storm so much is it's a gun that lets you be mobile. You don't have to buy a pot up in a windowsill, you can be aggressive and win gunfights. To me the 20 round magazine is not that big of a deal because you can comfortably get, comfortably get 2 kills per magazine in close range. Really the name of the game in Battlefield is to have good cover and control the engagement. Peek out, get a kill, peek back into cover. It really doesn't matter how big your magazine is because you really don't want to be exposed for too long. At any given moment you got so many people looking at you that it really behooves you to be able to peek out, get a kill quickly and duck back into cover. As for the sidearm, I'm running the Modelo 1915. It's the high rate of fire sidearm available to the support class. I like it a lot for those emergency situations when you run out of bullets because that's going to happen with the bar storm. If an assault player charges you then you actually you at least have a chance with the M1915. Although it doesn't do that well at any kind of range. As for the different variants of the bar available to the support class, I'd say the storm is the way to go doesn't have enough accuracy to make it viable with a telescopic sight. The hip fire is decent enough. You're not really going to be one to win hip fire battles with LMGs against assault players so the trench variant is out. You really want to run the storm variants for most of the LMGs in my opinion to help tame that recoil for those mid range engagements. Unless you're bipoding up. If you haven't tried the support class yet then give it a try. Definitely try out the bar storm. You have to get rank 3 support to unlock it. It can be kind of tough to score with the support class. 
it might be kind of a chore. Throw out lots of ammo boxes. Make sure you put your mortars and your crossbow to work. Other than that, you really have to stick with your team. You can't be quite as aggressive as you can with the SMG or a shotgun, at least until you unlock the bar storm. Really, the support class has a lot of competitive guns that I like a lot. I also like the Madsen. It's kind of like a poor man's bar storm. Slightly lower rate of fire at 550 rounds per minute, but it has a 31 round magazine. On paper, it's less accurate, but in practice, I found that it's a little bit more accurate and does better at mid range than the bar storm. That about does it for this episode of Top in the Server. Most flags cap, top the server, ran the bar storm. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.